Splash offers a native integration with Guidebook to easily build attendee apps that connect to your Splash events. To get started, we'll go into the Integrations tab in Splash. As you can see, we have the Guidebook integration added, and all you'll need to configure it is the ID from your Guidebook instance. Once that's there and the integration is on, you're ready to go. Now I'm going into the event that I want a guide associated with. I have everything built out on my page, including showcasing my sessions through an agenda block and my speakers. I'll click into settings, then integrations, and under guidebook, I'll click create to connect this event to a new guide. Once that's connected, I'll move into guidebook. In the guidebook builder, I'll click into build new guides and we'll see my new guide is ready for me to continue building. From here, I'll select how I want it created and then it's ready to customize. So let's start with the guide details. As you can see, there's some details already synced over from the splash event, but there's a few other basics I need to add, including a description for the guide. I also have the option to add branding to my guide. I can keep this guide public, which is the default, or I can hide it behind a passphrase or make it invite only. That's everything for the guide details. Now it's time to customize the features in my guide. You'll see that it already comes with some features, but I can easily drag and drop to rearrange them or drag to completely delete a feature. You'll also notice on the right-hand side, there's a to-do list that will call out anything that needs to be updated before you can publish the guide. Let's start by creating a speaker list. So for this, I'm going to use the custom list feature. Now all my speakers have been created, and before I move on, I'm gonna rename this to be my speaker list. And I can also customize the icon. Now let's create the sessions that will be available in this guide. If I have specific speakers for a given session, I can also link them. For each session, you can also manage the attendance to determine if registration is required and who registration should be open to. If there are resources that I want to share with my attendees, I can add those to be available in the guide menu and have them linked to specific sessions. To do that, we'll add in another custom list feature. To have these resources listed on sessions, I'll click into the schedule and link them.
Now I wanna put some finishing touches on the features that are available in my guide. I'm gonna remove the features that I don't need and then customize the others. I'd also like to include a link to our website. And last, but definitely not least, I wanna make sure my attendees have their QR code readily available to them. This code is used to check into sessions and connect with other attendees for networking. Then when you're ready, you can submit your guide to be available in your branded app or the guidebook app. After submitting, you still have the option to edit existing features and add new ones. Once your guide is published, we recommend adding a button onto your on-page confirmation and your splash reminder emails to make sure attendees have plenty of opportunities to get the app before your event starts. As guests begin to register for your splash event, they will sync over into the associated guide. Here, you'll also be able to see specific session registration. Now go forth and transform your next event with a powerful branded app through guidebook.